Without gateways, I think Chloe would probably have had a really difficult time. I think we would have had a really difficult time because we wouldn't have known a lot of the cues of things to look for that Gateways has been able to direct us in helping us find. My name is Kayla and my daughter Chloe was diagnosed with autism at just under two years old. When she was born, she developed pretty much normal. Uh, she was talking up until about a year old. She was walking at nine months and she was laughing, giggling. She did everything normally like her brother did. And then at about a year old, it completely just stopped. We were referred to gateways and then they kind of referred us to maybe get a evaluation done because that was kind of our cue to say, maybe there's something more going on. And then at about that point, she was diagnosed at about 18 months with autism. Chloe started at the Gateways Autism Center when she was two years old. She came to us with limited communication skills. She did not tolerate new environments. She didn't tolerate wearing her hair in different styles. And she really lacked social skills as well. So when Chloe first came to Gateways Autism Center, we began working on communication. Uh, so she started communicating using pictures, a picture exchange system. She learned some basic sign. And then she was repeating, learning how to repeat uh, sounds and words for basic requests. She's really been so successful, especially over this past year. Her communication has increased dramatically. She can talk in full sentences. She can engage in back and forth conversations with adults and peers. Her social skills have also really, really improved. And she is making friends here and also carrying on that friendship outside of here too. So that's really important for all of our kiddos. And right now, one of her favorite things that she is really enjoying is social skills group and she has been talking about the friends that she's making. She waves to them every day going to and from school. She has even been trying to go into their cars with them on their way home because she wants to go home with her friends. So she's learning uh, so many different things and she's had such a positive attitude and I know she's really going to miss it when she kind of finally realizes that this isn't school anymore. It's gonna be hard. She's transitioning to the public school system uh, to go into first grade. So we've had her for four years. Uh, so we've grown really close with her family and really close with her and we're really gonna miss her. For her, this is her fun place. So she loves it here. Without them, we would have not been able to get nearly as far for her as we've been able to get. My wish for Chloe would be that she continues to be her amazing little self. Um, with her personality and her abilities, I really think that she'll be so successful in whatever she tries to do. I think she'll be able to make friends really easily. And I think that she'll continue to make really great successes in life.